What should have been barrels full of business have sat ready to roll for months now. So these are all ready just to be filled up then? Yes, these have uh, ironically come all the way from America. <laughs> this Glasgow distillery's plan to export to the US had to be halted because of hefty tariffs, but now they have a shot at selling stateside. We were absolutely delighted, um, the same as, uh, as everybody within the industry. It's been a long time coming. So you were just about to launch in America, and then days later, the tariff got introduced, is that right? Pretty much, yep, yeah. We, everything was agreed. We had um, listings in the US signed up, distributors agreed, um, and then it all just fell apart. In terms of exporting, you've had three things to deal with. You've had tariffs, you've had a pandemic, and changes with Brexit as well. Yep. Yeah, it's, it really has been a, a, a triple whammy. Scotch whisky exported to the US has faced a tariff of 25% since 2019, imposed by Donald Trump in retaliation over a trade dispute involving aircraft makers Boeing and Airbus. But after talks between the UK and new US government, it's been set to zero. Relief for distillers thought to have reached losses of half a billion pounds because of it. The duty will be suspended for the next four months, but industry bosses are hopeful it's a sign there's a way of moving forward without any restrictions. I think it indicates that from both a US government and a UK government point of view, there is optimism that some sort of resolution is in sight. I don't think they would have done the suspension had the talks uh, that have gone on up until now not been constructive. Distillers are raising a glass to what is seen as a lifeline for this industry, and it's also raising hopes of something else, not just whisky galore, but a post-Brexit trade deal too. Alan Jenkins, 5 News, Glasgow.